what's up guys welcome back once again it is me Mo. so excited to be here with you guys today except for the fact that i was robbed guys i was robbed of so much loot from this base while i was at e3 it's ridiculous i have to share it with you guys we only got 12 minutes left on our shield so first i'm going to show you guys how much was stolen from me and how much was possible to be stolen and then i'm going to go out with a bunch of giants and goblins and see if I can get it back. We're going to do the GG strategy, guys, and try and get some of our loot back that was stolen from us. But first, let's go ahead and watch some of these replays. All right, guys, so here's the first replay. Look how much loot is available to steal from me. Look at that. That's 1.4 million available to be stolen. Look at this. So this guy is just having the time of his life with Barch, guys. He's coming in on my base. Look how much he's already stolen, and he hasn't touched a collector or a storage. He's not going to touch any of the storages. He's not going to touch a single one of the storages with anything, and he's already gotten 800,000 plus loot. He still hasn't touched the storage. Let's check him out. All the storages are good. He hasn't touched the storage. The only one he might touch is up at the top. Still hasn't touched the storage, guys. Look at that. Look at how much loot this guy stole from me. Mr. Norrain, you're welcome. You're welcome, Mr. Norrain. I think he might lightning. Oh, he doesn't have any lightning spells. But, guys, as y'all know, I don't do too much on this account uh, as I used to because Town Hall 9 is my jam now. This one's kind of just here to mess around with and stuff. Um, let me know if y'all want to see, like, high-level trolling and blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I can always do that. I've done some bases like that. But I wanted to show this to y'all because that's ridiculous. Look at that. He stole 400,000, and there's still 400,000 left to be stolen. That is absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and watch one more, and then we're going to attack and see if we can get ourselves some of our loot back, yeah? All right, guys, so here's the next one. All archers, and again, 1.3, almost 1.4 million in resources, and all he's got is all archers coming after my base, just... I can't even imagine what John was thinking. Like, when you find these kinds of bases, first of all, John, you're welcome. You're welcome that I'm giving all this to you. But when you find these kinds of bases, it's ridiculous. Like, your heart's like, oh my gosh, is this real? Is this real? <laughs> I know you guys know what I'm talking about because everybody has seen big raids. Man, you might not have seen some as big as this, but everybody has seen, like, big raids where you flip to it and you're like, wait a second. And your heart stops for a second? You know exactly what I'm talking about if you've been there. But he's still coming in with his archers. He already took out all my collectors and whatnot at the top of the base. Still 500,000 gold left. That's so much gold. There is so much gold available on my base. Um, I actually ended up after this, though, upgrading one of my archer towers, I think. Uh, and I've just been collecting gold. People haven't really been doing too much. Just been collecting. And uh, there's still a lot left on the base, obviously. But let's see. There's some gold mines right here. Uh, a couple of elixir pumps. Or, uh, yeah, and then one more up there at the top. So we'll see what happens uh, and how much he actually ends up taking. But there's so much available that no matter what, I mean, this guy's already uh, this guy's already out good. This guy is already happy because he's gotten almost 700,000 in resources. Almost 700,000, guys. That's absurd. That's absolutely absurd. He's got max archers. Uh, they're coming in, doing some serious work. Obviously, he needs to finish taking this out. Come on, buddy. Come on. Take it out. Take it out. Take out the Builder's Hut. Oh, no. He's going after the Dark Elixir, too. <laughs> no, not the Dark Elixir. Please. <laughs> My king's up there trying to do work. Level 25. I wish that on defense they could use their ability. I know they're a little more powerful, but, like, if a bunch of barbarians came out, that would help out so much. He's, now he's just being dumb, just looking at him. King, clearly they're close enough for you to go and get them. Is that really out of range of the king over there on the left? I'm going to check that after this because I don't think that should be out of range. So he's going to finish up right there. Uh, and watch what he does now, guys. Five lightning spells. He has five lightning spells. What do we think he's going to do? I don't know. He's got ten seconds left. You think he's going to drop it on all my gold and be a five lightning spell dropper? <laughs> Look at that. Five lightning spells just dropped on everything. He got so much from those lightning spells. It's ridiculous. He didn't pay it off an elixir, but that's okay because he got, guys, 900,000. Over 900,000 in resources. John, again, my friend, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Let's see what my king's range is because I'm pretty curious about this. I guess that was, that was barely out of his range. I think they were in range. I'm going to call Supercell and talk to him about it. <laughs> but let's go ahead and attack, guys. Like I said, I've got giants and goblins. We're going to have a little bit of fun with this and see what we can do, all right? Alright guys, so we found this base. 
I'm not expecting to do really well, but I think it'll be pretty funny to see what happens here. So let's go ahead and drop down our jump spell right here. And we're going to go ahead and drop off all of our giants. They're going to get in there and go to town. We'll go ahead and just drop off a rage spell. We'll just use our wall breaker since we have them. And then we got to send in our goblins as well. And I, no, I want them to go over the wall. Go! Oh no! The giants are going to get owned. Let's do heal spell and heal spell. I know that the infernos are on them. But just in the, in the case that they don't mess with them. How much loot are we getting? Come on. Get up in there. Where, how are our giants doing? Our goblins are doing work. They're running around. Come on, guys. <laughs> Go, heroes. We're using our heroes' abilities. Let's drop a rage off over here because we've got some goblins doing work. Oh, no. Where are our heroes at? Our king is down. Our queen is going to go down real soon. He had a bunch of clan castle troops. We're just going to end it right there. Let's see how we did. Probably pretty bad. Yeah. So goblins and giants, not the best, especially against Inferno Towers. So I failed epically at getting back my loot, but it's okay. I'm a charity case. Well, I'm not a charity case, but I'm giving to charity by letting all of that stuff go for my friends who want to attack my base. I know it was a stupid attack. wasn't trying to do anything cool with the strategy. Sometimes I see stuff where people are like, what is this guy's deal? Like, is he serious? He sucks. It's like, I'm not trying to say that that's a good strategy. I was just having fun. Do you guys know how to have fun? I know how to have fun. If you know how to have fun, let me know, okay? Because I know how to have fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just a little rant. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Really, really do appreciate it. I love you all very much. Hey, if you find my base, come and attack it. I will leave it up for you guys. Come and take my loot. It's for you because I love you. But thank you so much, guys. As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on, and I'll see you on the next episode, all right? Peace.